Vertigo, a map that's been in and out of the game since the year 2000, returned a week ago, sporting the largest changes to its layout that it has ever seen, and just the other day received yet more changes, which this video will be covering. Right now, Bombsite A is inaccessible, the map only officially available for 2v2 wingman around Bombsite B. This could be Valve experimenting with a new way of testing a map's changes. If this is the case, then once they're happy with this site, maybe they'll switch and Bombsite A will be available for Wingman for a while, before the map is completely opened up and playable in full, competitive 5v5 matchmaking. Or maybe it won't. Valve moves in mysterious ways. If you are interested to know how it plays as a full map right now, I've posted it over on the workshop, fully updated to the latest version. So far this has been popular, indicating that CSGO's player base is still very interested in this map. Let's see what changed in the latest update on January the 31st. And why. Being the main entrance to the site for CTs, this doorway has had its width doubled. Remember, this is Counter Strike. It only took one troll to stand in the doorway to block this route. What can remaining teammates do then? Risk the boost here and face enemies coming up these steps? Or do this jump around the side, mere inches away from plummeting 51 storeys down? Valve decided it was cleaner simply to double the width of the doorway. Curiously, the far side is even wider, giving CTs great visibility around into the right hand side of the site, as well as a slither of visibility this side as well, giving snipers with fast reflexes a chance to snipe terrorists before they can even enter the site. But this works both ways, and players near the site now get a direct line of vision right back into CT spawn. These large HVAC units have been shifted ever so slightly, but have also had their clipping adjusted. Before, the sticky out bits weren't included, but this didn't seem to have any impact. Literally, you could run through them, your bullets could go through them, the only difference I could find was that before, if you jumped while stood right next to them, you'd bash your head and come straight down again. Well now, no matter how close you stood to them in the new version, you bounce off at an angle. I'm not sure if this is even an improvement. But it is a change. They've also had black blocks added to beneath them. Before, if stood far enough away, you could see through these parts, which would reveal anybody entering the site through CT spawn. You can see these black brushes don't extend up far enough, not that you can see this floor from any playable spot in game. What is a big change is this stairway here. For a start, the bit halfway up is now higher up. If you can think of a better way of wording that then please let me know. What this means is that players stood here can now see players on the site, whereas before they'd have to stand further up the stairs to get the same amount of visibility. This makes the upper section of the staircase more part of the site than it was before. The next change is for players dropping down. There was no way of doing this without taking a bit of damage before, unless you ran around the rim a bit and then landed on this raised stack here, which is kind of fiddly. Dropping down onto this generator here would deduct 3 points of health, which is mildly annoying. The generator has been moved across and a large raised thing has been placed here instead for easy, painless drops down onto the lower level. Just be sure you land on the tallest one or you'll still lose 3 HP. And this wall has been moved out a bit and this wooden plank added to the ground here, both of these changes seemingly to reduce visibility between these two levels. You can still see up and down, even from T-spawn, but your positions for doing so are more limited, as are the spots you can see across too. It does make standing on the lower level feel a little more cosy though, but you're still at risk from players and grenades from the site. It's worth noting that players can still run right around the rim, what you can't do anymore is to boost up to see over this wall here. It's been raised, thoroughly partitioning the 51st floor from the stairwell. As you can see here, you used to have a clear and sneaky view over at the stairwell, though this gap was clipped off, meaning that you can't stand on it for a better view than what you can see here. It's gone entirely now anyway, so let's move on. You can wallbang this wooden bit, but only with a sniper. It's possible to kill an enemy through it in a single shot with an orb. All you need is a crisp clean headshot and a decent wall hack. Now onto the site itself. The cover has been shifted over into the middle a bit more. I'm guessing this is to encourage players to use the site rather than to hang back nearer their spawns. None of the cover feels that safe. It's not too wide and you can be flanked from both sides, which I think will give this site a unique feel to it, rather than to be a bunch of corners you can lurk in. You can easily tell where the plantable area is because it's made of rebar, low quality 2D rebar I might add, and when you're on it, your footsteps sound all metallic. Remember this sound, as it could help you to locate where enemies are. Just like how the outer bits sound different again. Three different footstep sounds in one bombsite. This spot here at the base of the stairwell has potential, 
On your own, you're just a little bit too low down to see anybody on the site, but stand on another player's head and you get a terrifying, wide view across the site, and you're in a spot that people probably won't look to immediately. The clipping here leaves a lot to be desired, though. Valve please fix. And last of the announced changes, they've brightened ambient sunlight. Ambient isn't the sunlight itself, it's the light that comes from the rest of the sky. If it's a clear sunny day, this light will be blue. If it's cloudy, it will be grey. Sadly, when they say they've brightened it, they've changed it from a rather pretty blue to a plainer grey colour. But it is brighter, so corners will be better lit. So those are the changes in the patch notes. But I compared the whole map, just in case. Terrorist spawn has seen a few changes to the decorations. This white chest is now red, this floodlight has been turned off, and a few hard hats have been added to the table. None of these changes will alter the gameplay. Nor will this now open doorway in T Corridor up. For now, but once it's officially opened up, you'll be able to drop down into a new area, albeit sustaining a small health penalty for doing so. This area is interesting. It existed in the older map versions and is the ramp leading up to A. This new update has added a new light to the corner, a wooden board with an arrow pointing towards the site, more detail on the ground, and a new hard hat. Not only does this mean that Valve are taking health and safety seriously, but they're actively working on the rest of the map, meaning that they're likely preparing it for a future update. Which should come as a surprise to nobody, but it is good to know. Very minor changes have also been made to A site itself, which I'll show in this picture but won't bother talking about. So I wouldn't be surprised if at Valve Headquarters, they're having games played across the whole map. Getting Vertigo ready for competitive play may be CSGO's number one priority right now, which for anybody familiar with the map, might come as a surprise. I don't think we'll have to wait long to find out. Let's see what the next update brings.